What's up guys? Before starting this video, I want to point out that I have nothing against Sikhs. I have nothing at all against people that are from the same religion as Jagmeet Singh. I have a problem with Jagmeet Singh, not his religion or anything like that. Now, in this video, I want to show you guys Jagmeet Singh is being aggressive with people these days. He seems like he's borderline on a, I don't know if he's in a burnout from the last election. It's not always easy being a liar in Canada apparently, so Jagmeet might actually be burnout. Jagmeet. In the, one of these videos, you're gonna see Jagmeet actually say to Pierre Polyev, I'm right here, bro. And he's being, he's being asked later in the video if he's drunk. Uh, wanna, wanna say something? What? Wanna say something? Hello? You say nothing? What's the that? I did not Who say said that. It? Who somebody, said it? Somebody behind said me it? said that. Was it me? Was it you? No. You sure? If it was me, I'd admit it, buddy. Was it you or not? If it was me, I'd admit it. What'd you say then? I didn't say nothing. It wasn't me. It was a gentleman behind me, I guess. Who is it then? Point I it out. I have no idea who it was, buddy. My word. You sure it's not you? No. 100%. You're a coward. You're not going to say it to my face. That's what's up. Say what? You didn't if I say said something face. like that to you, I'd admit it. All right. Say what? If I've said something like that to you, I'd admit it, but he doesn't know what he's talking about. Now, obviously, uh, I don't support anyone going to see a politician and calling him a, a bastard. Like, I would have reacted the same way as a jug meat right here. It's up the agreement with Justin Trudeau. And so people tell me that they are finished with and done with Justin Trudeau. Deal is done. We've ripped it up. That people are done with the liberals. But let us be very clear that uh, Justin Trudeau and the Liberals were just too weak. He says all that, but still votes with him. So he's actually just a liar. And onto a costly coalition that doubled the debt, doubled the housing costs, sent two million people to food banks and 1,800 tent encampments. He voted 24 times for the carbon tax. And since he did his dramatic video, he has refused to answer 40 times whether he'd vote non-confidence. Now that he knows that the bloc is going to keep the Liberals in power, he'll stand up and claim that he's voting against. Mr. Speaker, why won't the NDP stand up when it counts so that we can end this costly coalition and elect a common-sense government? Hey. Well, the Prime Minister takes the I'm going to ask the Honourable Member from New Westminster, Burnaby, please, uh, to only take the microphone when his voice is recognized. Look, the Speaker of the House is telling Jack Mead to stop yelling while the other people are talking. And then Justin Trudeau responds to Pierre Polia. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker. That the end does not make any sense that Jagmeet is there and doesn't even talk to respond to Pierre Polyev that it's the Prime Minister that responds to him. I think it's a little bit cowardly. Now, this right here, when he said that, after Pierre Polyev says what he's about to say, Jagmeet, before the second speech, He'll say, I'm right here, bro. And then, then after that, when it's time for Jug Me to speak on the floor, he actually seems like he's drunk, but he seems like he's almost having a nervous breakdown, like he's shitting himself. He looks really stressed out, and I feel like he wasn't drunk, but I feel like he was really nervous from taking the floor. Peter had sold out the people and signed on to a costly coalition with uh, this carbon tax prime minister to tax people's food, punish their work, double their housing costs, and unleash crime in their communities. But he claimed that he'd tear, he had torn up the carbon tax coalition so that Winnipeggers would not fire him in a by-election. But as soon as the votes were counted, he betrayed them too and taped exactly. back together this carbon tax coalition. How can anyone ever believe what he says again? Yeah. <laughs> A very uncomfortable situation here. The he says it's a very uncomfortable situation here because apparently Jagmeet told uh, Pierre Polyev, I'm right here, bro. The Honorable Leader of the Opposition. The NDP leader was terrified he was going to lose a by-election in Winnipeg, a NDP stronghold. So he put out a Hollywood production where he claimed he had torn up the carbon tax coalition onto which he had signed up, <laughs> that he was going to stop fighting for his pension, 
and start fighting for the people. But once the votes were counted, he betrayed them again. He is a fake, a phony, and a fraud. How can anyone ever believe what this sellout NDP leader says in the future? Look, Pierre Polyevra here is pointing at the bottom of the screen to the bottom right. He's pointing at Jagmeet. He's like, do it. Do it. Was off while the microphone was off. There were, I would suspect, although this, the chair didn't hear that, there might have been some strong words which were exchanged between members. I ask members to please remember that Canadians are looking at us and let us conduct ourselves in a way really befitting of each of our constituencies and the country as a whole. He's deeply concerned about privatization. Look, Jigmeet right here is so scared that he lost his voice. Like, that's fear. Literally fear. Thanks to years of cuts, Canadians are worried that there's a... Excuse me. Excuse me, colleagues. I'm having some difficulty hearing from some shouting coming from the latter third of the house. Can I ask all members, please, who do not, who do not have the floor to uh, not speak. I'm going to invite the Honourable Member from Burnaby South to start uh, from the top, please. The Canadian Medical Association is worried about privatization in our healthcare system. They're worried about the real impacts of a dangerous shortage of frontline healthcare workers, family medicine, family healthcare workers. They're worried about specialist shortages, nurse shortages. The Conservatives want to make people pay to receive health care, and the Liberals are too weak to stop them. Are you drunk? Why are the Liberals letting Conservatives... Did you hear that? Someone asked him, are you drunk? Stop them. Are you drunk? Why are the Liberals letting Conservatives force people to pay out of pocket to receive health care? Here, 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 here. Bravo. Again, I'm just going to ask members, please not... Why are the Liberals? The question is, why are you propping the Liberals and why are you like still taking for the Liberals? You're calling them out for stuff that they won't do nothing about. You talk like you're going to be the next prime minister. Or unless they are, uh, unless they are recognized by the speaker to do so. I cannot. I know some members would like me to, to, to make a more specific intervention. Unfortunately, from the chair, I cannot see who's making that, uh, that intervention. But I will ask members, please, to not speak while when they're not recognized. Like, why would you say uh, something like that to another politician? I'm right here, bro, unless you want to fight. I'm right here, bro. Bring it. Like, if you say that to another politician, you, lit you literally want to fight him physically. <laughs> 